Jordan Montgomery on the season. This will be his 25th start. The numbers are very good across the board. There's a lot to like. Here's the payoff. Struck him out swinging two a classic look and a classic pitch. The Montgomery changeup. Grounded to Rizzo wide of the bag and he will beat Hayes to the bag. They'll take their swings off the 28 year old right hander Chris Ellis. Chris Ellis born in Birmingham Alabama drafted by the Angels in the third round back in 2014. Judge with the lead at second. Stanton line drive center field Mullins on the move makes the catch to end the inning. Three two. Montgomery's going to win that battle. As Rizzo makes the play, hitting 321 since coming over to the Orioles. And that one has popped up. Two away. High fly ball. Gardner puts it away, and Montgomery works into and out of trouble. No runs, two hits, and two men left on base. We'll go to the bottom of the second. This year, the Rays and the O's. The next pitch, foul tip, strike three. So, Brandon Heidi talked about the curveball, but so far, Ellis has shown a really nice slider through these first two innings, and he earns his first strikeout of Anthony Rizzo. You got to go right after Velasquez here. 3 2. Line drive, caught by Jones, the second baseman, going to his left. He snow coned it and takes a hit away from Andrew Velasquez. Montgomery's 2 2. Strike three is a breaking ball strike on the inside one away. Second strikeout for Monty. Here's the 0 2. Hit on the ground again to backhanded by LeMayu from his knee. Slows to first in time. Beautiful play by DJ. The ball was hit between Velasquez and DJ on the right side. DJ made a sliding backhand stop. Well, he couldn't get up because Mullins would be safe, so he threw from his knees. Soft ground ball, a short charging Velasquez. And a 1 2 3 inning for Montgomery. He's retired six in a row. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Rookie, if you will, by the standards of baseball. Wade bunts it back to the mound. Off the mound is Ellis. He gloves it and flips to first to complete the out. Well done, Chris Ellis. He had to go a long way to field that Tyler Wade bunt and in one motion, glove the baseball and then flipped it to Mount Castle at first. Let's see if he goes back to the change up here. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss. He blew a fastball by him. Gallo strikes out, and Chris Ellis is through three in the Bronx. Mateo popped out to second base, his only at bat of the day. That came in the second inning. Full count pitch coming. And the dirt ball four gets away, and Mancini will score. Orioles on the board. It trickles away again, and Montgomery picks it up. Now the Orioles have a one nothing lead. So a walk and a wild pitch, and the birds are on the board. Yeah, a lot of high fives at the Orioles dugout. Orioles will take runs right now any way they can get them. So here's Mount Castle, long set by Montgomery, the 0-2. That's a big strikeout of a tough hitter. One away. After all those signs, this pitch works. Three inherited runners from Jordan Montgomery. It's a big stat for a relief pitcher. Holmes now up 0-2. Strike three. Arias down on strikes. So he was handled, handed the will, and as any good executor did, he took care of business. Strikes out Urias and three men stranded. So two walks by Ellis here in the fifth inning, putting runners on first and second and bringing up DJ LeMayhew. Runners moving, full count on the way. Fly ball popped up short right field. Jones is there and he's got it. Big time effort. Big Chris time Ellis, effort. no hit, no run ball for five. Now top of the order. The base hit is last at bat. That'll work. Base hit into right field. Jones around third. He will score. Cedric Mullins slides in with a double. And the Orioles are on top 2-0. RBI number 50 for Cedric. Back-to-back -back doubles. Boy, I love that approach by Cedric Mullins. Ground it up the middle. Oh, what a play by Velasquez. Throw to first. And the scoop by Rizzo. Moving to third is Mullins, but Velasquez just saved a run. It was a hot shot going up the middle. Velasquez made a diving stop, got to his feet and threw. 
just nipped Mountcastle going to third was Mullins, of course. 2 nothing Baltimore to run in. The pitch. Chopped. Back to the mound. Off the mound's Peralta. Mullins coming home. Flip throw to the plate. Mullins is safe. He beat the tag from the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And it's 3 nothing Orioles. Wandy Peralta did all he could. And Cedric Mullins, flying to home plate, beat the flip throw. And it's going to be Glaber Torres pinch hitting for Andrew Velasquez. Gardner does not go, and that's rounded up the middle. Bobble, and everybody is safe. A one scores, the Yankees are on the board, it's three to one. That should be a hit. We'll see how they score it, but the Yankees are on the board. Runners on first and second, one out. And it is a base hit for Torres and an RBI. Was a pretty good pinch hitter, 298 in his career. Could be two to second for one, on to first, yes, and a sir. great... Great scoop from Mountcastle on the backhand side. The Orioles turn two. Well, if you believe in due, Joey Gallo is due. He's 0 for his last 17, 3 for his last 30. Here's the 1 2. Swung on and line to right field, and it's going high. It is far. It is gone to tie the game. Joey jacks one into the right field seats. Hey, he's pal Joey. A two run home run to tie the ball game. And we're all knotted at three. Arias with a single and a walk in this game. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Got him on the outside corner with a fastball. One away. Here's Pedro. Struck out looking his last two at-bats. Doubled in the fourth inning. 3-2. Left field. It should get a run home. Gallo waits. Makes the grab. His throw comes to the infield. And the Orioles have the lead. Severino with a fly ball. Sacrifice RBI. 4-3 Orioles. Big time at bat by Pedro Severino. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. But not before the Orioles take the lead. Cole Salser will try to slam the door shut. 2-2 on the way. And he got him. Ball game. Down on strikes. Cole Salser closes it out and gets the win. The Orioles with a 4-3 victory today. Some great pitching starting with Chris Ellis.